Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. And today I'm going to show you how I mix up my cell activator for the Shelly Art or Shelly Carruthers, the Shelly Bloom technique. And I'm going to show you how I mix it up for both the Australian Floetrol, which you can get um, like on eBay, um, and the U.S. Floetrol. But the U.S. Floetrol, like the Aussie Floetrol, has a uh, a stain conditioner added to it that the US Floetrol doesn't. So I um, experimented and came up with a concoction that I like um, to kind of give it a little more stretch and elasticity. So let's mix up both some white and some black in Aussie and in US and then we'll go from there. What do you say? So for the US or the Aussie Floetrol, let's start with that. It's a little bit easier. I do it by volume instead of weight. So I have these handy dandy little cups, medicine cups that I get. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit better light here. They're just little, what is that, like a one ounce cup? It's just a one ounce medicine cup. And I turn it to the CC side and I do a three to one ratio for the Aussie Flow Trial by volume and not by weight. So I fill up the Aussie Floetrol to the 15cc mark and then I add paint until it gets to the 20cc mark and then stir it up and I store it. So that's all that I do for that. Pretty simple. So let's give this Aussie Floetrol a quick little shake. I did shake it a little bit earlier. And the first thing I'm going to do is pour in my Aussie flow trowel. And that looks about pretty much right on 15 cc's. I'm going to do that twice because I'm going to do one black cell activator and one white cell activator. Um, I don't know. I think I'd rather, if you're pouring the cc's, don't go too crazy trying to get it exactly on that line. If you go a little bit over, I think I'd probably go a little bit over than a little bit under because there was some confusion at first <clears throat> whether it was supposed to be three or four parts of the flow trawl to the paint. <clears throat> so if you're between three and four, call it all good. It doesn't have to be exact, but close, you know? So now the type of paint is important. <clears throat> the type that most people have found works the best um, for the white is the Amsterdam acrylic titanium white. Make sure it's titanium white and not some other kind of white. Um, let me see. For example, Amsterdam makes like a zinc white and this zinc white, oops, right here. Gosh, the, let me see if I should move this over here where there's a little more light. So, the zinc white does not work as well. You really want to make sure that you get titanium white, okay? Um, another brand that you can use um, that works pretty well is the Ar Atelier Interactive Artists Acrylic. And that, again, you're still going to be going for the titanium white in that, okay? So whatever brand you want to get, <clears throat> give it a try, but make sure you get titanium white. <clears throat> Pardon me, have a frog in my throat. Okay, and then in the, pack, uh, in the past, for black, I have used the Arteza, okay? And I've used the Mars Black. Um, and that works quite well. Uh, let me just make sure you can see that. But today, I'm just going to be experimenting because I, at the same time I ordered that big white, I got an Amsterdam and I got the Oxide Black. Uh, let's see if you can read that. It's kind of hard to focus on that and get it to where you can see it. Okay? Oxide Black. That's what I'm going to be mixing up today. I wanted to make sure you could see that. So, I've got my 15 cc's. So, 
So now let's put in our five cc's of paint. So I'm gonna get pretty much down to this level so I can see the line real clear. And I'm just gonna start pouring this in a little drop by drop until it gets up to 20 cc's. And I just wanna kinda of make sure that that drop goes all the way down before I add more. And that looks just about right. A little tiny bit extra, just for good measure. And I'm gonna do the same. Put my little stick in there so I know I poured paint in that. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I have a frog in my throat. And now I'm gonna do the same for the black. I'm just gonna start dropping in and make sure it goes all the way down and registers the weight of the paint before I start dropping in more. And this should do it right here. Okay. And that lid does not want to go on well. It just won't close for some reason. I don't know why. All the way. It's like leaving a gap. Hmm. I don't know. So, <clears throat> all I need to do now is stir it real good. Stir, stir, stir. And I might even bring it down so you can see the real consistency here. I want to get all of it off the sides. I'm kind of scraping the sides, the bottom. You can even like run it up and down and go around. Okay. And now we're going to stir up the white. Stir real good. Make sure you scrape it off your stick. Scrape the sides. Get the bottom. And there's your consistency. And that is just three to one by volume. And so what I'm going to do now, because I don't want to um, spill this or lose it, I, I refer to the Aussie Flow Trial as liquid gold. <laughs> so I order meals from Home Chef. <laughs> so every time they send me a meal, they give me these little prep bottles and it maybe contains some ingredients. So I save them. I wash them out and save them. They're a nice airtight container. So I'm just going to pour my Aussie Flow Trial cell activator right into there because I'd hate to spill this so I want to secure it right away okay. scrape that off and I have labeled the lid Aussie CA I can see the color obviously through it, so I don't need to write down the color. Give it another quick stir. Pour that right in here. Scrape it all out. So this cell activator is the color you put on top of the blooms or swipes or anything else that you do with the Shelley Crothers bloom technique. Which, let me just say, <clears throat> so I took this course when it first came out last year. Very first, you know, wave of people. And the class is great. It's fantastic. I know a lot of people have, you know, including me right now, kind of given out some of the information. I made sure to do it right, and I got her permission. I got a... Um, affiliate code 
so that I could give more detailed instructions. I've never shown like actual tutorials. I've just shown kind of, you know, how I mix stuff. I've just shown how I come up with some paintings, colors and whatnot. But even if you t watch my videos and learn how to mix up this stuff, you should take the class because part of that class includes getting into a paid membership only Facebook group for the Sheely Carruthers technique. And I am telling you that that group alone with the synergy of all of these artists from all over the world trying their brands and techniques, because obviously we can't get all of the same um, uh, paints and pouring mediums and things that Shelly uses in um, Australia. So it's this great wealth of information. There's files on there, recipes, all kinds of stuff. And then you'll, you'll be inspired. Um, and you can ask questions. And it's just great. That right there alone is worth the class. But... If you want to take it, I have an affiliate code where you can get 15% off. So I just thought I would give her a plug because the class is great. And I'm so thankful that she decided to share the technique with us. Um, and don't think that just because we're sharing some of the detailed information now that that's going to replace taking the class. It's really not. This It's just incredible, the community, the artist community. So I'm going to put my Aussie stuff aside. And now for the U.S. Floetrol, let me show you what I do. That I have to have a scale for. I need to have some measuring spoons also. I've got a little bit bigger cups. I end up mixing up a little more of this because um, I found the proportions that work for me to give a good result. So uh, U.S. Floetrol, I put in like a little... This is a cake decorating, like a little squirt bottle. Because I don't want to be pouring it in from this. I should do that with my glue also, but I haven't yet. So, and then what I do just to kind of keep the flow trough from clumping up on me, because it does from time to time get clumpy, I just have a little piece of stocking, like a knee-high stocking. I'm just going to stretch it out over that. Oops. Supposedly. Stretch it out over that and put this lid back on. And now that will capture any clogs so that what I use and I pour out will be filtered through that stocking and I won't get any clumps because you don't want any clumps. So having said that, I am going to put down my little three ounce cup because I want to have plenty of room to stir. So I'm going to turn on my scale, set it to zero, and I'm going to put, it's still three to one, but I'm going to measure by weight now, and I'm going to do one and a half ounces of U.S. Floetrol, clump free. So that's one, one and a quarter. I'm waiting for it to, be, okay, one and a half. I'm going to do this twice because I'm going to do both black and white and we'll play around with some paintings in another video. Okay, so here we're going to do one, one and an eighth. It takes a minute. Maybe I should get a new scale. One and three eighths. So that should give me about one and a half. Okay, one and a half. It did finally show up. <laughs> okay, so there's my U.S. Floetrol. To that, I'm going to add one half ounce of glue all. So it's just the Elmer's glue all. Okay, that's the kind that I use. I don't know if any other kind will work. I don't, I don't know the difference in glues at all. So now I'm just going to take this right up to two ounces, okay? That's one and seven eighths. Mm, a little nervous that I might get a little bit extra in there. I don't want to do that. So I do get, I'm an accountant. <laughs> I like to measure because I like to be able to duplicate my results. So I'm a big measurer. My friend makes fun of me. <laughs> she just eyeballs stuff and I'm like, I can't. It's not in my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to add a half ounce of this. So Sitting at one and a half ounces, I'm going to take it up to two. That's one and three fourths. One and seven eighths. Four 
That should take me up to two. Teetering back and forth, there we go, two. Perfect. I'll put the lid back on this. I have tried around with different recipes, and you can too, doing a quarter ounce of glue, a half ounce of glue, and up to three-fourths ounce of glue. What I do now is I give this a good stir. I'm gonna stir in between each ingredient. I wanna get it stirred up real good. Mix those ingredients together. You know how when you're like baking a cake or something, it says combine ingredients well, and then slowly add the next ingredient? That's kind of what I'm doing here. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'd rather not add all four ingredients and stir them all together at once, so I combine them first. Now, scrape that off. And now I'm going to put this Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. You know how the Aussie Floetrol said Floetrol and um, Wood Conditioner? That's what the U.S. doesn't include in there, so I'm just adding it. Full disclosure, this smells. So if you are um, sensitive to smells or odors, you might want to try and find something else or put on a respirator or something first because it definitely has an odor to it. And what I have here is a quarter teaspoon, just a little quarter teaspoon measuring. So I'm going to dump that in there, and I'm going to dump it in the other one as well. Put my lid back on because let's get that smell closed up okay so you can see it's just kind of a little bit and you'll be able to see from this it kind of skates across the top it doesn't want to mix in real easy so you got to mix it real well and for a little bit to get that all incorporated um, It's not the same as silicone because uh, silicone, when I want to resin something over it, like this doesn't leave divots for whatever reason, even though it's clearly like an oil. So I'm gonna stir this one up real well too and I'm gonna put them back on my scale and measure one half ounce of paint. Um, let's see, what I have done before also is added them in a different order where I did the U.S. Floetrol to the um, paint and then added the glue and then added the wood conditioner. Okay, so right now, I don't know why that's measuring one and seven eighths, should be two. I'm not gonna second guess it though. I'm going to reset my scale. There it is, back at two. I reset it so I did one and a half ounces of the Floetrol and I'm going to do one half ounce of the titanium white. Set it to zero. There's one eighth, one fourth, three eighths, one half. I just let that glob go off. Still at one half. Put my stick in here so I know I've added paint to that one. So I don't accidentally add the black to that one. And um, one more quick stir. Oops, I got a hair in there. Let me get it out. Okay. Stir this up real quick. Put this down. It is at zero, which is good. And I'm going to add one half ounce of paint. One eighth. One fourth. Three eighths. How come it didn't register? <laughs> it's playing games with me now. Okay, one half. And that's it. I'm going to move my scale out of the way and stir this back up. Give it time. It's got to get that black's got to get all the way to the bottom. Get all that stuff in there, all that goodness. And she's starting to, you can start to see when it gets pretty incorporated. But you can also see 
there's little bits left on the side. I can't tilt it too far. But so I am definitely going to kind of scrape along the sides here to get it off. To get the flow trowel and everything that's stuck to the sides off and get it all incorporated. Scrape, scrape, scrape. And you can see it with the black because you can, you know, I can check and make sure nothing looks like it was left on the side of the glass. You really can't with the white, so just know you're going to need to scrape it. Okay? I don't want to lose any of this, so I have a little bit bigger because this definitely mixes up more cell activator than my little 15 cc's to 5 cc's. But these are the proportions that work for me, so I don't want to mess with it. So I have this other little Home Chef 3 ounce container that has a lid. I love those meals. It's just me and my husband. We're empty nesters now. And I find those meals save me a lot of money. <laughs> for, I can't seem to go in the grocery store without spending 100 bucks. I mean, granted, probably 30 or $40. Ah! Oh my gosh. Focus. 30 or $40 worth is beer or wine. <laughs> but if I could stay out of that and just buy these meals that has everything I need. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I did that. So, the little paper towel before I close that up. That's what I get for yammering on and talking while I'm working, right? I guess I didn't spill too much. A little bit though. So, here I have this labeled US cell activator. Get this out of the way. See, I told you, I, if you've listened to me before, I never claim to be. A neat painter. I have to wear gloves just to mix up paint and cell activator for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm so messy. I see these people that do whole paintings and they never get anything on their hands. Their surface is perfectly clear. I'm like, no, that's not me. I'm not even trying. Now, I know that there's stuff stuck on the sides, so I'm going to go around and kind of scrape the sides. You could see it very clearly with the black. You can't see it as clearly with the white, but I know it's there. Stir it up real good. And of course, now this is going to sit for a few days. My friend, Teresa Jenkins, who got me started on this paint pouring expedition, probably in March of 2019, um, I went and visited her just a little while ago, and we did some painting. I mixed up a large batch of cell activator. I said, it needs to be used within like three days. She just texted me a picture of a painting she did yesterday. So now, almost three weeks after we mix up the paint, probably three weeks after, and it worked great. So maybe this stuff, it lasts longer. That was the Aussie Flow Troll, so certainly maybe that lasts longer. I don't know about this. All right. I have another little container. You see, I've used it before for the black. And so we'll just dump this out and store it. And uh, that's enough for this video, right? We're already like 23 minutes. But I wanted to show you how I mix up my cell activator for the US Floetrol products and also for the Aussie Floetrol products or product. Same paint in each, but different ingredients based on whether it's U.S. or Aussie Floetrol. Let me support this this time because last time I just tried to scrape my stick and I ended up tipping it over. I put my little lid back on, which I've got clearly marked. Here's another little tidbit for you. I used a Sharpie pen to label this. And at first I had put U.S. Floetrol on this. I'm like, oh, that was wrong. Um, a Sharpie is nothing more than an alcohol ink, so if you get a little piece of paper towel and just put like some 90% um, alcohol on it, you can wipe it right off. Sharpie is an alcohol ink and alcohol removes the ink, so I was able to clean that up and relabel it. So there we have it. We have an Aussie cell activator in white and black. We have a US cell activator in white and black. And we'll do, um, let's say on my next one, maybe tomorrow, we'll do four tiles. Just using each one of these products, using the same colors. 
and we'll just see you can compare the white versus the black and the Aussie versus the US. They do give slightly different results, I'm not going to lie, um, but they both give very nice results. So, um, but the webbing's a little different. I, I tend to think you get maybe a little more 3D with the US um, and a little stretchier. I don't know. We'll decide. You choose, you decide for yourself tomorrow. So, all right. Until then, have fun watching everyone. I hope that you have learned a lot and can go forth and conquer in the cell activator method or portion of the Shelly Carruthers technique. Take your class. It's awesome. All right. Thanks. Bye.